have a script or anything. I just saw that Legendary King of the Hill was back for Firefight, so I decided to record myself doing it for the very first time. So, yeah, I did the other two, and those were fun, but I'm hoping this one is gonna be extra challenging. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Claiming it is easy. Keeping it, on the other hand, set, start, kill, incoming. It's a funny story. I actually did this map in my first ever firefight, but that video didn't work out so well. So I guess my question is answered right off the bat, basically. Yeah, this is going to be harder than normal, which I'm down with. Well, that was sad. So yeah, this is definitely a lot harder, but uh, now that that's out of the way, let's just jump back in and try again. One thing I want to mention before we do this again is that I noticed that we didn't get any equipment starting off, which uh, is kind of a direct opposite from the other first times I did Firefight, because in uh, some modes you get like unlimited grapple shot, whereas now you're just kind of stuck pretty bare bones like a big team battle. Fire fight. There's a hill that needs conquering, Spartan. Alright, so I'm actually pretty hyped for this, because I've always wanted to do Firefight at Live Fire. Got stuck behind the wall. I see headshots in your future. We gotta go revive this guy because we're gonna need all the help we can get, I bet. That was probably a bit of a waste to waste sniper rounds on I fell down again, but that was an accident. Defeat. Well, not only was 
wasn't that hard, but uh, that's like five times harder than I thought it was going to be, but not done yet, so let's just keep going. I missed what he said. What? Well, let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Wait. Somebody got... Did I revive him? Did I actually revive... Well, he's back, I guess. So, yay. One way or another, he's back, so that's good. Let's see. Set start. Hill okay, I'm gonna take this needler here, cause my Star Lord blaster is out of ammo, basically. This is kind of sweaty, but at least it's kind of a fun sweaty, if that makes sense. Guys, oh, that's the shock rifle. Those don't do much in a firefight, at least not against opponents directly.
Oops, I uh, did not mean to hit one of my own. Alright, all I can do is watch. I can't actually uh, do nothing until someone gets me. Okay, but while we're waiting... I don't really know if the energy sword does that much, realistically, because the energy sword just feels like, you know, it's almost overpowered, but, you know, you already have a decent Enemy amount of firepower with some weapons, Enemy so is it really sword. necessary to use the energy sword? Maybe you can answer that in the comments. Thank you, Ninja Guy, for the fight. Oh, no, this is what I really need right here. But I, oh, oh, come on, not again! I should have just picked it up and walked away with it. That would have made more sense. Oh, I think someone's coming after me. Thank you again. Or, thank you, this guy. I don't think it's the same one. Spawn in front of me? You guys saw that too. It's like he literally just disappeared. This is really good timing because I don't think there's anybody around. Equipment available. Uh, I got your sniper, buddy. Do you want this? can have that right there. Okay then. Yeah, those S7 snipers don't really have that much ammo in them for something like this. It's not bad for multiplayer, but it doesn't translate as well to firepower. Yeah, this is a long walk. I'm gonna do a time lapse here. Here we go. Not another death already. Oh boy. Thanks again, Penguin.
what? Ravager's door. pretty good too. Alright, I am loaded to the nines. Heal incoming. Surprise! Here's an ambush for ya! Still there? When the announcer said reinforcements, I didn't know if he meant us or the enemy, but I guess he means the enemy. Because the only way you can get uh, more allies is to revive them. Oh, I have to grapple shot, I need to use that. Not good, not good, not good. Critical, critical, critical. Surprised they're not coming through the top right now. I like this guy's Chimera armor. Yes, that's random, but you know, I just like to point things out like that sometimes. Okay, to be fair, the energy sword would be pretty effective against roots and, you know, this legendary firefight. Oh, no! He's down! Alright, finally back in the action. You know what? I'm gonna hitch a ride on his vehicle. Bro, hey, 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 hey! Literally forgot I wasn't using the assault rifle after dropping it to pick up another weapon. Defeat. Well, I did get some cool accolades at least, so that's nice.
Weapon drop. Set. Start. Hill incoming. Time to win or die trying. Fire fight. I always thought you had a regal air. Basically, I got like blown up into the air on a warthog, then I just crashed to my death, so yeah, I don't even think my teammates can revive me. Take two of my final attempt.
firefight. Team took the hills. Control. Red Don't be scared. <laughs> team scored. Weapon drop. Control. Reinforcements. So here are my final thoughts about Legendary Firefight. This was sweaty, but at least it was sweaty in a fun way. A couple of maps I really enjoyed fighting on were Oasis and Exile. Like for example, Exile is a big map with a lot of detail, but its open areas don't feel too barren. While I'm mentioning it, at least most of the squad battle maps are good for firefights. As you saw in the video, I didn't get to do Behemoth and Deadlock much, but I think they could have been fun maps to do firefights on, and I really wish I could have done Oasis more, but oh well. Anyway, I'd like to thank someone who was a big help to me editing this. Her channel goes by the name Candycorn DeFangor. She has artwork and Halo Infinite clips on her channel, but she also posts Halo Infinite clips to her TikTok account. I'll leave links to both in the description below. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Battlefront Infinite.